Like we said a while ago, that nuclear pores allow the communication between nucleus and cytoplasm. They are small molecules and ion which travel without any help, and we call it free diffuse. And big molecules like protein are used in active transfer or mediated by other proteins, which divide it into types. And protein, we found them in cytoplasm. They import molecule inside the nucleus, and the second transport. The second transport protein is exporting, which export molecule outside the nucleus to the cytoplasm. The importing we found him in cytoplasm, and the exporting we find him in the nucleoplasm. So let's start with the importing technique. Let's say we have a protein to import inside the nucleus. Only subserve protein can import to the nucleus. They mark it by a special sequence of amino acids called nuclear localization signal. And they consist of one or two short segments with basic amino acid. This segment is recognized by the important receptor and carry the cargo protein to the nucleus in the way to nucleus in the way to nucleus important important pi to the cytoplasm filament allow the cargo to go through the other sequential nuclear proteins until get into until he get into the nucleus. In the other side, the complex is disrupted by protein called RAN and is carrying molecule of GTP. This protein binds to the important and change his structure, making him release the cargo. The, the protein complex of RAN important re-exported uh, re through the nuclear pores to the cytoplasm and there we found another protein called RAN gap. And he binds to the complex RAN and protein and stimulate RAN protein to hydrolyze his GTP to become a GTP. This action make the, make the RAN release the important receptor the RAN GTP can never bind to the complex importing protein. In order to import the RAN GTP inside the nucleus, a help is required by protein called NTP2. He bind to the RAN GTP, the importing <coughs> then import him inside through the nuclear pores, then release him. Now we need the RAN GTP to become a RAN GTP again, and that's what's going to happen by the help of protein called RAN GAF bind to the RAN GTP and stimulate him to release GTP and pick up the GTP and the RAN GTP is functional again and then he can bind to important and trigger him to release the cargo now let's go, <coughs> let's go and talk about export from the nucleus to cytoplasm protein are targeted to export from the nucleus are marked by specific sequence of amino acids called nuclear export signal they are recognized by receptor called exporting and they bind with the RAN GTP, who form a stable complex, the protein. The protein complex go through the nuclear pores to the cytoplasm. The RAN gap bind to the complex and stimulate RAN GTP to hydrolyze it to the RAN GTP and make him to release the cargo to cytoplasm. Exporting and RAN GTP are recycled by the protein NTF2 protein and transporting them inside the nucleus again. That's it guys, the end of chapter I see you in the next chapter. Don't forget to subscribe.